Hi right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So I am currently making a shirt out of copper chainmail, and this is a sample of the finished fabric, so we can get an idea of what the shirt will look like. So all the rings are welded shut, it's been tumble polished, and I've allowed it to oxidize and tarnish to about the level it'll probably get to. As you can see, it's a very nice copper red color, and I really do like it. But something I would like to experiment with is how does it look if I put a coating of brass or perhaps bronze on this? That should strengthen it, add corrosion resistance, and who knows, maybe I'll like the look of it better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zinc coating over here on this end. I'm going to leave the center untouched, and then over here I'm going to put a tin coating. Once that is complete, I will heat it up cause the metals to all diffuse together, and we should end up with brass, copper, and bronze. And so I've made up a zinc plating solution. So this is zinc powder mixed with water and sodium hydroxide. So I'm just going to dip the end of this copper mail down in there. Looks like that's about all I can get anyway. Well, that's busy coating in zinc. I'm going to prepare the tin plating solution which will consist of dilute hydrochloric acid, uh, some metallic tin. This will make uh, stannous chloride. For the tin electrode, I am going to snip off a thin ribbon from this tin can here. Okay, that's a little bit better current. Let me just kind of give these a shake every now and then just to make sure it's completely coated. As you can see, it's already developing a bit of zinc and tin. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's shut this down. Oh yeah, looks like we got a nice coating of tin there. And here we are after rinsing the solutions off with water. As you can see, on this side is zinc plated. In the middle is just plain copper. And over here has got a coating of tin. So now I'm just going to go throw this in the oven. Alright, there it goes. Let's heat that up. Okay, and here we are after just a few minutes. You can see this end looks gold, center is copper, and over here is kind of black actually. But let's see what happens when I give it a good scrubbing. Alright, so I've just been scrubbing it with my hands like this for a few minutes, and I also washed it in vinegar, and this is the result. See, copper, brass, and bronze. I think that's pretty good, actually. Let's uh, get a little bit closer view on this. So here's the brass-coated copper. Here's the copper which is untreated, and the bronze-coated copper. See, the, the bronze is the darkest of them, and it's actually quite interesting. Like, some of the areas, like right there, you can kind of see the join where I welded the rings, didn't actually take the bronze coating very well. So like either it's flaked off or it just didn't diffuse in. See? I don't know how I can show you that the best. There you are, bronze, copper, and brass. So the coating is rather durable, you know, scrubbing like this didn't take it off, but it will wear through eventually. Uh, it is, you know, microns thick. The bronze should last the longest because it is the hardest of the alloys, though if I wanted it off I could potentially put it in a tumbler with sand and, you know, really scrub it that way. Another possibility is I could perhaps treat it multiple times to get that layer thicker and thicker. Uh, perhaps eventually I could get something that is almost solid bronze or brass. That'd probably take a lot of work. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.